A while ago, I saw a photo of an echosphere in my Discord server. And it was Bartosz, a member of my Discord server, who posted this photo. And I got very inspired and intrigued. An echosphere is basically a jar that you put some dirt and water and plants and stuff in from uh, some place out in nature. And then you seal the jar and it will be a closed ecosystem that is only fed by the light coming in from the outside. And I love this idea. It can look beautiful and it has life in it, both plants and animals and life will change over time. So I really wanted to try this for myself. Bartos recommended the YouTube channel Life in Jars for inspiration and to um, get some basic tips on how to do it. So I watched a few videos from this channel and the guy who runs the channel is really funny so the videos are very enjoyable to watch. Anyway, he recommends for a beginner to begin with a 2 liter jar. So I went to the store and just bought the kind of jar that you put food in and that is airtight when you seal it. And then I went to a forest nearby and I found a small pond that looked like it had some life in it. It had some plants and I could see some insects on the water surface. And then I just, yeah, scooped up some dirt, some water. I found uh, uh, some plants that were growing underwater. So I plucked a couple of these and just uh, put into the jar. I didn't attempt to plant them or anything, I just put them in there. And then I sealed the jar and went home. What I tried to think about was that I should have enough dirt to uh, have some life in the dirt itself at the bottom. And also I made sure that the water surface is a bit below the lid so that there is some air above the water where creatures can live. I also put in a couple of sticks and some bark in there and I made sure that the sticks stick up above the water surface so if any creature wants to go above the water surface they can do so on these sticks. For the first few days the water was very muddy and it was impossible to see much of what went on inside the jar. I could see that there was some movement and there was some life in there but I couldn't really see exactly what it was because the water was so dirty. And it took a long time before the water became clearer. I made this jar on May 21st this year and now it is June 3rd. 13 days later and only today do I see that the water is clear enough to actually do a video about this jar, a first video, uh, and to kind of see what's going on in there. I plan on this to be a multi-part video series where I do an update every few weeks or every few months about what's going on in this jar. I have seen in the Life in Jars channel that uh, quite a lot can change over time and uh, the jar can be very active even like two years after it has been created. So that is I think very interesting and I'm looking forward to follow what's gonna happen in this jar. So what kind of life do I currently have in there? Well I am no expert in any of the animals here so I won't be able to name them. If you know what they are called please name them in the comments it will be fun to know. Uh, I can see that the plants that I put in there some of them are still alive. Uh, the green ones I guess they are still living. Uh, some of them died. When it comes to animals it seems like what's dominating right now are these very thin pretty small but long red worms and they are crawling around uh, very slowly and I can see that they have dug up lots of lots of tunnels in the dirt but they are also in the water and above the water they are basically everywhere and before I saw that there were some other animals that were not like super duper tiny but they seem to have died now, or at least I don't see them anymore. Uh, so it seems like uh, the worms are what's dominating right now. I can 
see some other animals that are very very tiny. See this guy? It kind of jumps around a little bit. And this is a two times magnification with my Laowa 60mm macro lens and still this guy is so very tiny. There are quite a few of these super tiny creatures but besides the worms and these super tiny creatures that both come in black and in red, I don't see much else in terms of animal life. I see that there are some snails that seem to have died or at least are very non-moving at the moment. Uh, but it will be very interesting to see how all this develops, uh, if the worms are going to continue to dominate or if I'm gonna see some other animals. This is a super fun experiment and uh, I just wanted to make a first video about it since it was requested by people on Instagram and uh, I'm gonna do update videos uh, in the coming weeks and months when stuff happens in the jar and possibly I will make more jars. Uh, it would be interesting to go to more places to collect water and dirt and see um, what difference there will be uh, in terms of life and in terms of uh, plants. Thank you for watching, see you very soon again, bye bye!